Hello, I am Mac, at least for a day, and everything's going to be okay. I want to show you a few of the games I've made lately. All of these games are mini games. They weren't really long enough to be worth making a single video about. So after I made three of them, I decided to go ahead and make a video about all of them, show all of them in one video. But the first one is Peppermint Hockey. This is just a quick game I threw together. Peppermint Hockey, I, I threw it together in a single evening and I haven't really touched it since then. It's made it very, very quickly. Um, peppermint Hockey, rules, press square to hit the peppermint into your own color to score points. The side with the most points when the timer runs out wins. Every time you win increases your score on the scoreboard. All right, so we gotta hit it into the blue. I'm pretty happy with how, ah oh darn, I scored a point. Man, <laughs> I'm pretty happy with how fast paced it is. It's kind of like, oh, I accidentally hit it into mine. <laughs> but AI is not great. I'm not very happy with how I was able to make it, but they do score points on you quite a bit. But yeah, it feels a lot like playing air hockey, if you've ever played that in an arcade. <laughs> but um, it, it about, it's about as fast paced as that, although these games go a bit, sh these games are a bit shorter than an air hockey game would be. Oop. Oh, <laughs> see the AI is not great. The AI is not trying to aim for the, for that goal, but it just accidentally hits it in because of how the physics are or whatever. Anyway, I'm about to win. Yay, blue wins. All right. Even though red scored a point just as the timer ran out, it still counted as a win for me. So yeah, that was peppermint hockey. Like I said, it's a super quick thing that I threw together. I was thinking of making it for like a board game, you know, party game, kind of like Mario Party, but I think I've kind of decided to scrap that idea, at least for now, because who knows? But anyway, next one is Ice Cream Stand, Ice Cream Stand Simulator. It also only well, no, it took me about a day to write the <laughs> write the code, design the logic for this game. But it took me a few more days than that because I, uh, I'm w one thing I'm proud about is I've made almost all the assets for this game except for the the street, the the location that you're in um, was, well, I'm going to just show you. It's a remix of Street by Subaru. So the, the city street that it's on was made by another person, but I made the ice cream stand, all the ice cream colors and flavors and the ice cream cones and the people, which are just recolored. Um, refinished versions of the sliding basic puppet um, but yeah I'm gonna reset my progress on this one because it basically has a built-in tutorial the first time you play it it's a bit easier but then all the times after the first time you play it it's harder so you'll see as we get in um, yeah should be good all right, ice cream stand simulator. It's a hot summer morning and it's your first day on the job at an ice cream stand. Also, you have no idea what you're doing. You'll have to figure out what, what flavor each ice cream is. If you give the customers the wrong order, you have to pay for it. If your shift ends with negative money, you're fired. Good luck. All right, so let's go ahead and do it. I also didn't make the music. I remixed it from one that, yeah, another player made. A uh, customer says, I would like a large cone with birthday cake flavor. So this one is birthday cake flavor, and this is a large cone. Yes, this is what I wanted. Here's what I owe you, thanks. So I got $3, large cone is $3. I would like a medium cone with a scoop of buttered pecan. So buttered pecan is this one, and this is the medium cone. Yes, this is what I wanted. Here's what I owe you, thanks. I would like a large cone with a scoop of mint chip. All right, mint chip. 
We go over here and large cone. Yes, this is what I wanted. Here's what I owe you. Thanks. I would like a small cone with a scoop of strawberry. So here's strawberry and small cone. This, yes, this is what I wanted. Here's what I owe you. So like I said in the instructions, I purposefully made it so that you can't tell what the flavors are. You have to figure out by looking at them. It's kind of to simulate what it's like being the first day on a new job. And if they haven't trained you very well, not knowing how everything works. And if you mess things up, the customers get mad. I would like a large cone with a scoop of vanilla. All right. Why don't I go ahead and fail once and see what happens when you fail. So small cone with buttered pecans. I'm gonna do buttered pecan, large cone. Hey, this isn't what I ordered, I won't pay. So you lose the amount of money that that order would have been if you get it wrong. I would like a medium cone with a scoop of cookies and cream. Here we go, yes, this is what I wanted. So the thing that makes this day easier is there's no well, there's a time limit on the whole day, but on the second day, there's a time limit on uh, how quickly you get each order ready. Uh, I would like a small cone with a scoop of buttered pecan. Buttered pecan, small cone. If I made it to randomize the orders, I would like a small cone with vanilla. Yes, almost out of time for this day. I would like a small cone with a scoop of birthday cake flavor. Yes, this is what I wanted. I would like a medium cone with a scoop of buttered pecan. Yes. Medium cone with strawberry. Uh oh, won't have time. You made it. You get to keep your summer job and keep making money. It's going to get harder after this, though. I love a challenge. Let's start the next shift. Generating tubs of ice cream. Generating new orders. Decreasing customer patience. Welcome back. And now the music is faster because now, like I said, there's a time limit on getting each order. Welcome back, trusted employee. After the first day, you will have a limited amount of time to get each customer their order. If you take too long, they will leave and you'll have to pay for their order. Compete with other players on the scoreboard so the most days finished and money made. Yes. I would like a large cone with a scoop of chocolate. Yes. So the music is faster to signify the shortened time. Large cone, cookies and cream. There was a lot of bugs with this part. I think I finally got them all fixed. Large, rocky road. Like I said, I, I sculpted all these ice cream cones. I'm, I'm, most, I'm most of all proud of the ice cream cones because they were pretty hard to sculpt. I would like a large cone with chocolate. Small cone, cookie dough. Medium cone, rocky road. Medium cone, mint chip. The song, well, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what happens if you run out of time on an order. Small cone, cookie dough. So I'm gonna let the customer patience run out. This is taking too long. I don't have time for this, but I was almost. I would like a medium cone with scoop of strawberry. Yes. Small rocky road. This song was originally one of those songs that are Kawaii Future Bass. This is a popular new type of song, I think, in Japan and other Asian countries, I think. 
that I remixed it a little bit for this. I would like a large cone with a scoop of buttered pecan. Uh, buttered pecan. Small. Ah, I'm running out of time. Up. Oh, whoops, I got that wrong. Medium cone with chocolate. Medium cone mint chip. Yes. Small cone buttered pecan. I, I really think it simulates what it's like to, you know, do a job like this retail where you have to quickly get food orders and stuff. Obviously it's not a perfect simulation, but it kind of gives you an idea of what it's like. I worked as a checker. We're out of time, so we'll just... Yay, you made it. Uh, save and exit for now. So I worked at, as a, a sacker at a grocery store. That was my first um, long-term job. I had, like, you know, temporary job before that. But my first, you know, ongoing job was as a bagger at a grocery store. And then later as a checker at the same grocery store. So um, that is a lot what it's like, you know, having to quickly check, you know, check or bag the customer's items. And I think it does a good job of simulating it. I've never done ice cream before, but I think that's probably what it's like. You scoop the type of ice cream they tell you and give it to them. And if you get the order wrong, obviously they're not going to be happy about it. Um, okay, so last one, the elements. I'm not going to reset my progress. I definitely don't want to do that. I'm going to start. I have a new trademark animation that I'm going to start putting at the beginning of all my games. I'm going to turn off my sound so that you can hear it without me saying anything. Yeah, that is my new trademark animation. I just added the music to it. It used to have me reading out the words, but I didn't really like it, so I changed it to music, and I think I timed the music well with the appearance of the words. Um, but anyway, the elements, card battling game. Let's read how to play. The elements, card battling game rules. The rules are simple. It's a lot like rock, paper, scissors. Fire burns earth, earth blocks water, water quenches fire. The twist is that you can only play the cards you are dealt, and you and your opponent take turns playing your cards first, so the other has a chance to counter it. Let me check and check out my... Yeah. Beating your opponent's card earns you a point. Playing the same card earns no points. The first to earn five points wins. So let's go ahead and play a match. Don't think you can beat me, because I'm a girl. I'll whoop ya. And that's my voice. <laughs> I've started doing a lot of voices for teenage girls, which is weird. Alright, so I can counter with fire. I earn the point. I need to play something. Oh, they got a point. Alright, water is beaten by earth. Nice. But yeah, it's a lot like rock, paper, scissors, but with the different rules I explained. Um, I usually play whatever card I have the most of, so that I can hopefully uh, keep one of each type. Alright, I can beat that with fire. So you see, it gets harder to counter as you run out of cards, but I can beat water. Yay. The AI is fairly easy to beat, but they still beat you sometimes if you get really unlucky. Darn it. Oh man. Okay, good. I win. Because... I reach five. You win! Every match you beat adds to your score on the leaderboard. Back to main menu. 
Okay, there, I, I made it so that there's three different opponents that you can play. So I'm gonna play against all three of them. Don't think you can be Oh, that's the girl again. Prepare to feel the power of my mighty magic. There we go. And that was my voice as well. But a guy named Smiley Blastburn made this character and another character we haven't seen yet. He made them especially for this game. So I, I voiced that one. Uh, he voices the other one that he made that we'll see in a little while. And each each opponent has their own music. Their own theme music. Dang it. Yeah, I can beat Earth. I mean, beat water with Earth. Yep, play fire. Good. Draw. Can beat water. Yep, I can beat fire. Alright, let's play fire. Good, there's a draw. And I can beat earth. And I win, yay. So yeah, pretty easy, although I'm planning to make a level two level two matches which will be more difficult I love this card game and I love you uh, I mean I love this, this I hate you and I'm gonna win yeah so that was smiley blastburns voice acting and he also made this character as well darn I don't have water so I'm gonna have to play fire so I don't lose a, so he doesn't gain a point. Okay, good. Still can't beat fire. A lot of it is the luck of the draw, but it's also skill. It's a combination of luck and skill. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and lose this one. So you know what it's like when you lose. I mean, it's not much different. But... So water would beat fire, so I'll just throw that one. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll mess up on purpose so that he stays ahead. <laughs> we'll see how difficult it is to win, I guess, to actually try to win. Okay, you beat me there. Fire, beat Earth. Give him another point. There, now he's about to win. Uh, I can't lose to him, so I'm going to have to do that. <laughs> Feels weird losing on purpose. There we go. You lost. Don't give up. You can do it. It takes both luck and skill to win. Alright, so that was... The Elements. Uh, the Elements card battling game. And The Elements is going to be my submission into the game jam. The current game jam's theme is the elements, so you have to make some game or visual or whatever involving the elements, so that's that's my submission. We'll see how I do on that jam. And then Ice Cream Simulator and Peppermint Hockey. So this has been a few mini games I've made recently. I've been Mac. Thank you for joining me for a day. And remember, everything's going to be okay.